Welcome to my office. Why don't you sit down? Let's talk. Got my glasses on again. Last time I talked about something with my glasses on, you learned something, didn't you? Well, you're going to learn something again. So get ready. I got my notebook. I'm ready to write down. Let's go. Let's get into this. talk to you about the reasons why you never finish anything and I'm bringing this up because it's the end of the year which means it's the beginning of your what do you guys call them New Year's resolutions especially the ones you actually don't finish the ones you the plans you make that don't ever happen and so I'm here to give you kind of reasons to why you guys don't finish what you start or don't follow through with yourselves. So if you are excited about this, then just get ready because I'm about to blow your minds, okay? I really am. So there's really only about four or so reasons why people don't follow through with what they do. It's why they never finish anything. That first reason seems super simple, but it is probably one of the hardest reasons out there is you don't have a support group. You don't have people that believe in you. You don't have people speaking positivity into your life and telling you you can do it. I understand that we are all adults here. We make our own decisions. We don't need validation from other people in our lives for us to continue or start or, you know, embark on new things. But having a few good people to keep you accountable for the things you say you're going to do is really good. And honestly, quite honestly, it's really underrated. It is important to have your like, positive people who are going to push you and continuously remind you of what you said you were going to do. They are not there to like judge you if you fail or judge you if you don't succeed, but they're kind of there to like cheer you on. Oh yeah, you say you want to get that degree? Go get that degree! Or they should be asking you like, hey, you know, are you studying today? Stuff like that. Um, and the reason why I say it's hard is because not a lot of people have access to people like this in their lives and that is tough and I get it but there are 7 billion no I think there's 8 billion people on the planet now there's 8 billion people on the planet you can find people that will support you it's possible there's people out there for everybody but a big reason why people don't follow through is because they don't have a support system to keep them accountable and check in on their behinds every time they say they're gonna do something. So, that's a good one. The second reason why you don't finish what you start is because you don't write it down. You've gotta see it to see it. You know, I, um, not pushing religion down people's throats, but Michael Todd has a sermon on being able to write stuff down, putting it in paper, putting it on paper so that you can see it. That's why vision boarding is good. That's why writing stuff down in pen is good. Don't write that stuff in pencil. You can erase pencil. No, you want to write it down in pen so that you can't erase it. Um, and this is just a visual reminder of the goals you've set for yourself. Um, for example, when I was in college, I wanted to graduate. So every year it was written in pen, graduate. Not that it wasn't going to happen because, you know, I am me, but I wrote it down in pen. There are things that I have been blessed to have opportunity to do that could not have been possible if I didn't write it down somewhere or if I didn't have some type of visualization on paper of what I wanted. It kept me focused, it kept me, it kept my mind focused on that's what I want out of this. So that when things start to get tough, 
I could look at that, look at those, those list of words or look at that vision board and say, you know what, things are tough right now, but the goal is this. If you guys are liking these tips so far, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And if you've made it this far in the video, I do have a bonus tip for you at the end. Just get ready for that one because it's going to be a good one. But for now, let's keep going. Another reason why people don't finish what they start or you never finish anything is out of fear. Fear and judgment. So, or fear of being judged. A lot of people don't pursue their dreams because they're too afraid to step out on faith or step out on the good graces of the universe or whatever, you know, you're you're into to pursue that dream for real. Um it's it's as simple as if one person is doing it, 15 other people can do it. But the reason why the 15 other people haven't done it is because they're too scared to take that step. You have to be able to take that step and actually do what you say you want to do. Um, there's this term that I heard recently called empty words. You saying you're going to do something and then not doing it because of fear is just having empty words and you're speaking emptiness into your situation and that's why you're not going to finish it. You're not finishing it because you don't, you're too afraid of what will happen. And honestly, you'll be amazed what the fear actually resembles. It's either fear that it's going to go good, fear that it's going to go bad, fear that it's not going to produce any outcome. And that is absurd. Just do it. Just do what you need to do. The fourth reason why you never finish anything is excuses. And I heard this from my brother maybe a week ago from his fraternity. And I'm pretty sure they got it from someone else. Excuses are the tools of the incompetent. So, oh, you know, life gets hard. Oh, I have all this homework to do so I can never focus on my YouTube. Or, oh, I just... I just need to do this and, and that's going to help me get to this point. Having an excuse for everything is not the plan. And honestly, it's one of the reasons why you can't get stuff done. You want to do things, you got to ex nay the excuses. You got to get rid of the excuses and able to pivot through life. You'll be amazed what you can do by getting rid of excuses and getting rid of fear and just going for it. Start writing that stuff down and start having people in your life that can hold you accountable for what you say you're going to do and your life can flourish. Like yes, life is hard. It's hard out there for everybody. It's difficult, but if it were hard, it wouldn't be called life. Think about it. How many trials do you think Jeff Bezos had to go through to launch Amazon? With eBay on the rise and, you know, there's still shopping malls and stuff. I'm pretty sure he had a lot of excuses that he could have used, but he didn't use any of those. Don't use your excuses. Get out there and do what you say you're going to do. If you made it to the end of the video, lucky you, I have one more tip um, for why you never finish anything. And this one is a good one. This one is a real good one. I am just going to give it to you guys straight because that's what I do on this channel. You probably don't finish things because you don't want it like you thought you did. So basically... When people let those things creep into their minds, the excuses, the fear, the lack of accountability, they create doubt. And you creating doubt in your mind makes you have to sit down and be like, well, do I really want this? And if you've seen my video um, on overcoming rejection, sometimes what you want is not good for you. 
And I mentioned that in my video. Um, there are some occasions where, yeah, it is good for you, but a lot of times something that you want is just not made for you. But the other side to that coin is that sometimes the things that you want, you don't actually want bad enough and that's why you don't make it happen. People make stuff happen for things and people that they want. Somebody's not somebody's not doing something that you want them to do, it's because they don't want to do it. So the same can be said about yourself. You, you want to save up to get this car and you know that taking Ubers every day to work is tough stuff, but you're making excuses to why you can't save your money for it. You don't want the car bad enough. You don't want the car bad enough. It's as simple as that. That is my bonus tip, and I'm sorry I kept it real with y'all. I just, some of y'all need to hear this. Some of y'all really need to hear this and, you know, start taking accountability for yourselves. But, you know, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, here on my channel, we are growing. We just hit 100 about a month ago. I'm so excited. That's so great. Um, just keep on sharing the videos if you can. And um, I'm going to go. So, yeah, that was great. See y'all later. I'm going to put my glasses on. I feel like I look like somebody's mom. I got my candle in the back. Did y'all hit up that candle sale? It was nice, right? It was nice. Are we gonna hold ourselves accountable in 2022? Do you want your dreams to work for you? Hmm? Oh, that rhymed. Oh, snap. I'm gonna start rapping on y'all real quick. What? So, yeah. Uh, this is awkward now. Cause you're a camera. Thank you.